So today we will see the example of k-means clustering. In the previous video, we explained the concept of k-means clustering. That is going on uh, grouping the data points based upon the similarity. The similarity measure we have used is the Euclidean distance formula. So let us see one of the example here. Cluster the following eight points, which is having x and y values, into three clusters. So here we have uh, given with the data points. Uh, that is eight data points we have given that is from a1 to a8 all these data points a1 to a8 should be grouped into three clusters three groups based upon the similarity so let us see the solution the first step we have seen is in the algorithm first we have to define the cluster centers these are the randomly defined cluster centers a1 a4 and a7 we have taken so we can take any of the cluster centers. I have taken as A1, A4 and A7 as the cluster centers. Now, so here if you see the figure, I have taken A1, A4 and A7 as the cluster centers. So next step is, this matrix explains that. So there are 8 data points. We have to check each of the data points is nearer to which of the cluster center cluster 1 or cluster 2 or cluster 3 so use Euclidean distance formula and find the distance so first data point check with the first cluster center second cluster center third cluster center you already know that the Euclidean distance formula is square root of 2 minus 2 whole square plus 10 minus 10 whole square you're getting 0 here 2 minus 5 whole square plus 10 minus 8 whole square you're getting 5 similarly for uh, next cluster center 2 minus 1 whole square plus 10 minus 2 whole square square root you have to take you are getting 9 so if you check among this which is having the minimum value 0 so means this data point is near to this cluster center so it is assigned to cluster 1 similarly for next data point check it out whether near it is near to this cluster center or this cluster center to this cluster center using Euclidean distance formula we are getting 5 6 4 here 4 is minimum among all this means a2 is nearer to third cluster center means it is near to third cluster so we are assigned to three similarly you calculate for all the data points and assign to which cluster center so if you see the figure you can see the first cluster center you are having only one data point second cluster center you are having eight data points third cluster center you are having two data points if you see the figure first cluster you are having only one data point that is a1 Second cluster, uh, you are having A3, A4, A5, A6 and A8. Third cluster center, you are having A7. And third cluster, you are having A7 and A2. The next iteration is, we have to recalculate the cluster center or mean or centroid we call. So, next we need to recalculate the uh, mean by taking the mean of all the points in the cluster. That is mean of all the data points of the cluster. Mean of all the data points of the cluster. Mean of all the data points of the cluster. The first cluster, we are having only one data point. That is A1. So, the mean will doesn't change. Only one cluster data point we are having. Only one. Nothing has been assigned to here. Only one, A1. Before it was assigned to, to comma 10. Uh, so, same data point is remaining. Uh, so, it will remain as it is the cluster center. So, next cluster 2, we are having... Uh, 5 data points that is um, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A8. Take the average that is mean. That is how to calculate A plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 4 by 5 because we are having 5. 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9 divided by 5. So I have already done here. You can see here we are getting 6 comma 6. Similarly for cluster 3, 2 plus 1 by uh, 2, 5 plus 2 by 2. We are getting uh, here 5.5 comma 3.5. So, these are the new means what we got. New centroids what we got. If you see the figure, the new means what we got is uh, uh, previously we are uh, same thing for first cluster 2, 10. Next is new mean is 6, 6 and new mean is 1.5, 3.5. Now, we have to check, recalculate uh, the distance between the data points and the cluster centers. We have to check whether the data points will be remaining the same cluster cent, uh, cl same cluster, or it will be shifted to the next cl other um, cluster which is nearby. If it is nearer to other cluster, it will be shifted to the other cluster, whichever it is nearer. So, here if you observe the same thing, 
all the data points check whether it is nearer to first or second or third first it is uh, zero we have already calculated it is uh, assigned to first cluster 2.5 uh, whether it is nearer to first or second or third use euclidean distance formula we are getting two you are assigned to cluster three say do the same thing if you observe from the previous iteration only the data point 8 has been shifted from if you see the data point 8 as all are same or are same here if you observe only the data point 8 has been shifted from cluster 2 to cluster 1 cluster 2 to cluster 1 it is shifted so before it was in uh, uh, data point 8 was in cluster 2 now it is shifted to it will be shifted to cluster 1 that is with the data value 4.4 comma 9 <coughs> So here next step is again recalculate the mean for all the clusters. So cluster 1. So since it is now two data points are there calculate the mean. So it is 4 plus 2 by 2 9 plus 10 by 2. So you are getting 3 comma 9.5 for the cluster 2 which are the data values data points are there 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 are there. So for 3 4 5 6 data points with their x and y values calculate the mean value you are getting 6.5 uh, and another is uh, um, uh, uh, 5.25 next uh, for the cluster 3 you are having uh, the data points 2 and 7 so here you are getting 1.5 uh, and 3.5 So this is actually 5.25 okay so these are the new centroid values what you got so now again recalculate whether the data points uh, whether uh, they will remain in the previous cluster itself or uh, since it is nearer to the other cluster it will be shifted so, so you have to see the distance every data point check it out whether it is nearer to cluster 1 uh, centers cluster 2 center or cluster 3 center we have all done already like this so check it out any change is there so here if you see it is uh, before it is was 1 3 2 2 uh, 2 2 3 1 here it is 1 3 2 uh, 1 so here a4 data point you can check here a4 so before a4 was in cluster 2 now a4 has been shifted to cluster 1 because a4 data point now it is nearer to cluster 1 rather than cluster 2 so same thing recalculate the mean so now the data point uh, 4 it is nearer to cluster 1 so see here if you can see data point 4 what it, it was in cluster uh, uh, 2 now it is shifted to cluster 1 so now in cluster 1 we are having data points a1 a4 a8 in cluster 2 we are having a3 a5 a6 in cluster 3 we are having a2 and a7 so recompute the mean values uh, so i have explained uh, before so these are the new mean values you got again the same thing you have to repeat so what happens is uh, for every data point uh, calculate to which uh, cluster center is nearer by using equivalent distance i've already done it so these are the clusters i have assigned it now if you check it out is there any change is there any data points has been changed the clusters so check it out previous iteration if you see the previous iterations if you see it is 1 3 2 2 1 2 2 3 1 no so no of the none of the data points has been changed the clusters it is remaining the same clusters so the iteration stops so k means all of them will stop each of the data points when each of the data points does not change the clusters when we are having same mean value so that how we have to do is after this if you check recalculate the mean values if you recalculate the mean values you are getting the same mean values so that is 3 uh, that is uh, 3 uh, 3.675 comma uh, 9 7 comma 4.3 and uh, uh, 1.5 comma 3.5 same mean values will get once you get the same mean values then it means that uh, your the same values if you get it means that 
um, uh, the, no, none of the data points will be shifted to uh, any of the clusters. So thus the algorithm stops.